What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to a brand new Liverpool Career Roadshow episode and today is a big one because we play Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League and Manchester United in the Premier League so make sure to stick around because this will be a banger of an episode and I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded as often in this series as I wanted to I have been really busy, I attended two weddings uh, of my close friends and we had to get a lot of stuff done uh, I, so I had to a lot of things on my schedule but now my schedule has pretty much cleared up for the next one and a half weeks so I'm planning to upload at least every other day and much more often than previously so if you are excited about that leave a like and of course comment of the day award goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen and guys we also hit 130,000 subscribers so to celebrate that I will do a Q&A video I will try to make a funny one so let me know your funny or serious questions in the comments below for the Q&A video and let's get right into it. So the first game against Dortmund, the, the live commentary well, footage got corrupted, my SD card gave up during that game but thankfully I caught it before recording the second game and the first chance goes to Dortmund and they almost score, that was a big chance. The second chance also goes to Dortmund and this time they take it what a brilliantly well worked goal Fabian, the new signing from Borussia Dortmund get a goal and Dortmund uh, fielded a very very strong team and this was in the 24th minute our first chance of the game and what a work work chance this was Trent Alexander-Arnold he cuts in and Trent Alexander-Arnold he scores the equaliser what a brilliant goal by Trent not sure about that celebration but then he uh, shows the Fans that he is really happy the first goal for Trent in the Champions League this season and what a brilliant goal that was absolutely epic and then Borussia Dortmund uh, try and score again but Onana saved it and then we work a, a chance again and Nabi Keita bang first chance for Nabi Keita in the game and what a finish he finds the top corner with absolute ease that was an absolute rocket the Liverpool fans are loving it what a pile driver he tops it puts it top bins top corner goalkeeper had absolutely no chance whatsoever and then Diogo Jota in the 50th minute he tries to go past two defenders but then he loses the ball and then Ozan Kabak look at this oh my goodness Ozan Kabak almost scored from long range he hits the bar that was very unlucky and then Jaden Sancho of course the talisman of Dortmund who sadly went to Manchester United in real life almost scored again and then Harvey Elliott he passes it to Jota and Jota can seal the game and he does it emphatically scores 3-1 game over Dortmund could be out of the Champions League if the team below them win their next game the last game in the group stage this is the sixth game day of the group stage and uh, Dortmund could be out of the Champions League and Onana makes a really really important save just to seal the two goal win so we go to Dortmund and beat them 3-1 and we beat them at Anfield so we got six points against Dortmund and Dortmund had more chances than us but Onana wa was brilliant in this one and I'm really really happy that we managed to win the game Diogo Jota was the man of the match he scored and got two assists so Jota was involved in every single goal and Dortmund got through because Lokomotiv Moscow beat Shakhtar Donetsk Shakhtar needed a win to knock Dortmund out and they in fact lost so Shakhtar bottle it on the last day of the Champions League we win the group so hopefully we will get an easier draw let's see which team to, could we get uh, who finished the second in the table but Dortmund got very very lucky with only seven points teams very rarely qualify to the knockout stages of the Champions League but Dortmund in the end managed to get through and we could get Olympic Lyon because they got ahead, finished ahead of Barcelona. Barcelona going only to the Europa League is a big shock. Lazio win the group. So Lyon, I would be happy with that draw. Lazio win the group and Barcelona only in the Europa League. That's a shocking result for them. Barcelona losing to Copenhagen was the result that sealed their fate ultimately. And them not beating Lyon in the end didn't really matter. 
And uh, we could also get Bayern Munich. I don't really want to get Bayern. They are an amazing team. Last season we got knocked out by, I think, Leipzig. So hopefully we get an easier draw this time. PSG and Napoli got through. Galatasaray will play in the Europa League. Uh, it wasn't really a question whether PSG and Napoli go through because they steamrolled uh, the other teams in the group. And Frankfurt get through Sevilla after losing to Manchester City, get overtaken by Frankfurt to win in Moscow. So Sevilla on the last day of the group stage, lose out on qualifying to the knockout stages. So we could get Frankfurt, we could also get Leverkusen who finished second behind Real Madrid, Monaco finished third. Either Frankfurt or Leverkusen would be good draws as well. We can't get Man United because they are also from England. Roma win the group, Man United finished second. It's quite a surprise how good Roma was in this group stage. Athletic Madrid and Juventus qualify from Group A without a problem so we could get Juventus in the Champions League as well and Patson Daka has agreed a short-term loan move to Real Madrid so we managed to negotiate a sell-on uh, clause in his contract so if Real Madrid decide they can buy Patson Daka at the end of this season for a really really big 47 million pounds and our next game is against Manchester United at Anfield that doesn't get much bigger than this and Man United were top of the Premier League like three or four week game weeks pre previously they really messed up their uh, schedule and their results recently so let's keep that misery going for Man United and inflict another defeat on them and Man United also built a pretty amazing team they have new signings like Grand Prix, NDD, De Vrij, Koulibaly but I'm really confident because we also built a pretty great team let's go it's arguably no bigger game in England. Certainly, they are the two most successful teams with such passionate fans. Welcome to Anfield! It's Liverpool against Manchester United. I'm really buzzing, really looking forward to this. It's always a huge game against our biggest rivals, Manchester United. And we want to win more Premier League titles. We already surpassed their Premier League title tally because uh, after winning 19 titles, Liverpool have done that in real life we won number 20 number 21 and number 22 so three Premier League titles in a row is amazing but four would be pretty much unprecedented in the Premier League no team has won four titles in a row Bruno Fernandes T turns and great block come on clear it yes Robo good clearance oh no there is a player on the line and it's Robertson again! Robertson just came back from a long-term injury and he gets another long-term injury. Let's hope it's not something like three, four or seven months because then Robertson's season could be in, in really big tatters. Oh man, that is so, so unfortunate. I don't really want to bring on LaRucci this early on so what I will do is let's bring on Matip and go Robertson gets clattered into by Martial. That should have been a foul. Jota and Haaland. Please. Money! Money! Oh, what a mistake by the Man United player! And Sadio Mane makes it one there and then he does this trademark Mane celebration. Get in there, Mane! Against Man United, we take our first chance. The hell cannot believe it. What was the Man United defender doing? Look, he has the ball and then he passes it to Mane. That is the biggest mistake that you will see from an AI defender. Tejas, what were you thinking? You absolute fool. And I'm loving it on the touchline. Oh, this is brilliant. And Cunha to Mane. Mane is in. Sadio. Sadio Mane! Oh. oh no! Oh no! On the edge of the box, Henderson bundles over Bruno Fernandes, who of course needs no invitation to fall over. FIFA is quite realistic in this instance because Bruno Fernandes, at the slightest touch, goes down just like in real life. And Man United get a lifeline, they get a penalty. Can we save it? Oh! and he hits the bar and Alisson was taunting him <laughs> oh my goodness I can't believe that Fernandez misses a penalty he normally is so reliable from the penalty spot Bruno Fernandez where is he going Martial 
Oh, the g glad Martial didn't shoot, but... Oh my goodness, that was almost the perfect passing move by Man United. Cunha, Mane, hold it up. Haaland, and... He passes it to Salah, and Cunha! Oh no! What? Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, what a mistake! And Haaland couldn't win, uh, couldn't score a one on one. Oh no, 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 Martial. Martial, don't. What? What a mistake! Martial! Are you kidding me? That is absolutely incredible. And I gave the ball to Man United and it's one mistake from Man United and one mistake from me. I had the ball and then how did Martial squeeze that in? I was right there in front of Martial with the defender and somehow he squeezes it past Alisson, past all my defenders. And it was my fault giving the ball away with Matip, I think. Oh man. And Haaland missed an absolute absolute sitter just before that and Haaland also picked up an ox so we have to substitute him Harvey Elliott and Harry Wilson are both coming on oh Gnabry Gnabry unbelievable save Alisson Man United almost won it oh wow look at the Liverpool fans they are not happy with a draw and I think maybe with the, the referee as well Mar Martial got the equalizer very late on you know I can't really complain because Man United had the more better chances they missed the penalty this game had pretty much everything apart from a red card it had so much drama and I think I'm pretty satisfied with a point this draw was the perfect result for Arsenal who got full of, took full advantage they beat West Ham and they are now top of the league Tottenham could only draw but they are in mid table Man City won Chelsea won so Man City are uh, really really close to uh, a Europa League place but uh, the top four is really now uh, on its own league uh, Chelsea also got closer to us so the league ta table, table is very very congested and Bruno Fernandes is still the top scorer in the Premier League. Thankfully, he didn't score his penalties, so yeah, that it didn't get add to his tally. Jota, Haaland are uh, our top scorers, you know. And Erling Haaland, thankfully, is only out for five days. The next game is in the, in the League Cup, so he misses that, which is not a problem. But Robertson, our best left back, is out with a dislocated shoulder for two months. That is quite a big blow for us. We are already in the League Cup quarterfinal and Crystal Palace and Man City are already through to the semi-finals so we absolutely have to beat Brentford who in real life got promoted by beating Swansea City in the playoffs final and even Ivan Tony is their star striker and I'm really interested to see what kind of season they will have in the Premier League but Rama went to West Ham in real life in January but so uh, we really should be beating this Brentford side even with uh, this second team Brewster is back from his injury just in time to play in this game. Cameras trained on one man. Facing his former club, he'll want to make a point live on EA TV. Welcome to Enfield. We want to win as many trophies at Liverpool as possible. So the League Cup, now that we are at the business end of it, is an important competition. No. Oh, come on now. Onana! Oh, and the rebound is missed by Tony. What on earth? Oh my goodness, what a save. And then how did Ivan Tony miss that? It's a pretty much an open goal. And this is a warning sign that we... Oh no, we can't give the ball away so easily. And this time Tony doesn't miss. Oh my goodness. Really on the back foot now. And it was coming. Brentford were just high pressing us something that I didn't expect and they are 1-0 up already and they of course want to get to a historic League Cup semi-final I don't think Brentford has been to a League Cup semi-final many times I can't even take him out Tony Nabi Keita Brewster and Nabi Fakir what a goal here with an absolute rocket that was our first chance and it's a glorious goal oh i'm absolutely loving nabil fakir in a liverpool shirt it is uh, it was uh, of course uh, almost a re reality but in the end that transfer fell through but nabil fakir at least on career mode we can live out this fantasy of fakir scoring bangers for liverpool oh no 
Oh, that is too easy, too easy. Brentford make it 2-1. Baptiste with the goal. Oh, that is just unbelievably bad defending. Oh man, when I went out with, I think it was Kabak and I slid in, I didn't get the ball. After that, it was two attackers on one defender, so it was inevitable. Fakir to Harvey Elliott. Nabi Keita. And Brewster. No! What is that? What a weak pass that is! To Harry Wilson, why did I not shoot with Brewster with such great finishing? Go on. Go on, Elliot. Come on, Harvey Elliot. You have the pace, Harvey Elliot! And here's the finish! Let's go! 87 minutes! And Harvey Elliot, the young talent, gets us back into this League Cup quarter final. If it's a draw, it is penalties, but that's of course better than losing. What a big, big goal that is by Harvey Elliot. So I make three substitutions and I bring on better penalty takers than what uh, were on the pitch. So it will be a penalty shootout and that will decide who goes through to the semi-finals of the League Cup. Wow, this, is, this was a much tougher game than I expected. Brentford are a good team and uh, I'm just happy that we didn't lose because we were like five minutes away from losing this game look at how much we got dominated at Anfield by Brentford this ultimate difficulty sometimes gets the better of me Onana needs to be the hero but first we have Harry Wilson oh come on Wilson come on please bury it Harry Wilson good penalty 1-0 Liverpool Onana come on Onana, uh, oh, Tioli is the best penalty taker from Brentford, he misses it. Cunha steps up, come on Cunha, yes, it's 2-0. Where will Ben Rama go? And Onana saves it, I guessed it right, it's 2-0. Absolutely crazy, come on Fakir, please, Fakir, it's 3-0. We need one more save, and then we are through to the League Cup semi-finals. Where will Harry Kane, our former player, go? Okay, he goes to the right, we dive to the left. We still have two penalties, we only need to score one of them to go through to the semi-finals of the League Cup. Come on Jota, please be a hero. Diogo Jota! It's 4-1 on penalties. It's an emphatic penalty shootout win. Wow, I never expected that to happen. But in the end, that Harvey Elliott goal in the 87th minute guarantees us a place in the League Cup semi-final because we win the penalty shootout. And I mean, we got pretty lucky that Brentford didn't score more of their chances but you know the most important thing is the result and this is still pretty much a young team so I'm really really happy that we won this penalty shootout and Everton our Merseyside rivals lost on penalties I'm a little bit uh, gutted about that because I would have loved a Liverpool Everton Merseyside Derby semi-final in the League Cup and we get Burnley so pre we pretty much get the weakest team out of all the three teams that we could have drawn so it should be a Man City Liverpool final in the League Cup but we has first have to get through Burnley and I also want to show you that the Champions League draw has been made and we get Frankfurt in the round of 16 of the Champions League which I think is pretty decent draw Bayern Munich Man City is an absolute dream of a draw it could have been a Champions League final there Man United Lazio Napoli Tottenham are also tasty draws Dortmund PSG Leverkusen Atletico Juventus Real Madrid that is another draw that could have been the final wow really looking forward to the next episode thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later guys goodbye